I'm going to show you how to use cartridge pleat tape to create a contemporary draper panel style like this. Now cartridge pleats are very simple and modern style of drapery panel. So it's something a little different than your typical pinch pleats. The tape has a few features that I'd like to point out before we get started. One is the shearing cords and they're used to pull up the pleats. There's also a stitch line, a green stitch line at the top and bottom. You'll use this as a guide when you're sewing. There are pockets in the tape if you want to use a two-prong pin or a drapery pin hook. So this will uh, give you direction as to the top of the tape. And there's also a small repeat indicating thread. Now it's going to be a little difficult to see, but there's little woven in dots in the tape. And they're a little bit shinier than the tape and more tightly woven. These little dots at the top and bottom are going to show you the center of each space. And a space is between your gathering cords. So those little dots are directly between your gathering cords. To use the tape, you're going to create a drapery panel with a double fold heading, and this is a four inch double fold heading. You don't need to sew it in at this point. You can just fold it in and lay it flat on your work surface. Place the tape on top. You don't have to put buckram in your panel because this tape is very stiff like a buckram. Using those repeat indicating woven in dots that I talked about earlier, you want to center those. I've got one here and one here. I'm going to center that on the drapery panel itself so that I stop and start in the center of a space and it looks like each one's going to be about three quarters of an inch from the end. I'm going to hold that in place there and put this down about a quarter inch from the top and again these little pockets are going towards the top of the drapery panel and I'm just going to stab some pins in just to hold it in place while I'm working so it doesn't move around. And at the ends I'm going to trim away about an inch beyond the end and pin that in place. And continue pinning the tape to the drapery panel. And I like to pin in the center of the tape so that I can stitch on either side and not have to remove the pins as I go. And you'll stitch with a matching thread for your face fabric onto the little stitch lines that are on either side. You only need to stitch twice at the top and bottom edges of the tape. And I'm dropping the tape down about a quarter inch from the top edge. And then when you get to the other end, pull out the cords and tuck that edge under. So I have one here that already has the tape sewn on. And you can see it's sewn on using thread, the top and bottom, machine stitched. And now I can pull up and create the cartridge pleats. So I'm going to pull up from this end and I like to have the panel flat on the table and just sort of lay my hand on top and then pull up the pleats like this. All your spacing is already determined. So this is a great time saver so you don't have to figure out your pleats and spaces. It's already done for you. And this is a wonderful style to use as a stationary drapery panel underneath of a top treatment because you don't even see the top. So if you um, maybe don't want to use drapery tapes for all of your drapery panels, but in instances where they're going to be covered, it saves so much time than having to figure your pleats and spaces. So I've pulled this up until all the cords are tight, but I don't want to pull so tight that I create gathers between the pleats. You always want your spaces to be flat, so I'm going to pull that back out and flatten them out. And if you did want to iron over your stitching, it's a good idea to do that before you pull up your pleats. Sometimes stitching causes a few puckers and you can iron them out. So that's pulled up flat. I'm going to go ahead and tie off the cords. And I'm leaving a long cord here. You can cut off the cords if you'd like to. If you think you may ever want to flatten it back out again to go to the cleaners, you may want to leave the cord on, wind it up, and hand stitch it onto the drapery. Or you could tuck it inside the end of the drapery panel and hand stitch that closed. So I'm going to leave the cords on there. 
from the front to get that rounded cartridge appearance, I'm going to cut off a piece of buckram, and any buckram will do, and then about 12 inches, and roll it up into a little tight cigar, and insert that into each pleat. And I need to wind that up a little bit tighter. I'll start at the other end. You want to actually wind it up tight and let it unwind inside the pleat so it tightens up. So you start off a little smaller than the pleat is and insert that in the pleat. And then sort of manipulate it and unwind it so you create this pretty rounded cartridge pleat. So this is the cartridge pleat tape. I think you'll love using it for creating this modern drapery style.